I think respect is to do unto others as they do unto you. You wouldn't want somebody treating you differently than you treat them. This is respect. Taking care of yourself and others with humbleness and loyalty. The golden rule, treat others the way you would want to be treated. Respect is treating others courteously so that they will treat you the same. Respect is to help all others with humbleness to them and to take care of that. Courage to me is to move forward in life, to have faith in yourself about doing things that you want to do. Yeah, just keep moving forward. I think it means to never back down, just keep going no matter what happens. Um, I think that courage is like stepping up even though you just fell down, keep going. Like, I think courage is to have perseverance in yourself and never give up. Loyalty is to never betray any of your friends or family or close ones. Loyalty means to help all others and give um, respect to others and just take care of them. Uh, loyalty is like trust. You have to trust your teammates in order to be a team. Loyalty is not betraying your friends and your family and your ideals. Yeah, loyalty to me means to be loyal to yourself and to others and to your family and to not turn your back on those who have helped you because they helped you get where you are. Loyalty is a good thing. Uh, just to be humble and a good leader, you know, a good person to everybody. The team is other people who will help you through life. left behind and if somebody's falling, help them back up. Uh, what I think team is, is like having a family that will step up for you and help you out. What team is to me is like, and your teammates have faith in you. Like even though you're losing, they still have faith in you. Even though that they don't win, they still keep you as your team. I think team means to always have somebody that can get your back and help you up when you fall out. Teacher? Hmm. I see your talents have gone beyond the mere physical level. Your skills are now at the point of spiritual insight. I have several questions. What is the highest technique you hope to achieve? To have no technique. Very good. What are your thoughts when facing an opponent? There is no opponent. And why is that? Because the word I does not exist. So, continue. A good fight should be like a small play, but played seriously. A good martial artist does not become tense, but ready. Not thinking, yet not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. When he contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. No. You must remember, the enemy has only images and illusions behind which he hides his true motives. Destroy the image and it will break the enemy. The it that you refer to is a powerful weapon easily misused by the martial artist who deserts his vows. For centuries now, 
The code of the Shaolin Temple has been preserved. Remember, the honor of our brotherhood has been held true. Tell me now the Shaolin commandment number 13. A martial artist has to take responsibility for himself and to accept the consequences of his own doing. I'm ashamed to tell you now. Among all the Shaolin men I have taught, there is one who has turned the ways of knowledge and strength to his own base ends.